Hello, this is Tic Tac. In this video, I will show you how to start up the Boeing 787 Dreamliner in Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you enjoyed the video, then please like and subscribe. Let's get started. When you start your flight up from a gate at an airport, then you'll find your plane in this state. Everything will be off. We will need to turn the engines on and then we will be ready for our flight. So let's uh, start by going up to the top here and clicking the checklist button. This will bring up a new window which says checklist at the top and we will have three checklists in there. Before starting engine checklist, starting engine checklist and after starting engine checklist. We will start with the before starting engine checklist. Here we will see uh, some things that we will need to do to complete the checklist. And if you don't know where to find a switch or button, then you can press the eye icon here. And this will show you where the button is located. So let's uh, start by pressing this button to turn the battery on. Then you can make the co-pilot verify that you have done everything correctly by pressing the evaluation button. Battery switch on. External power. And the co-pilot will show you where the buttons are located and will make sure you have done everything correctly. So let's just go th through the checklist. So we'll turn on our external Money power APU and we will start our APU. Start then on. APU gen switches. So the APU is a jet engine at the back of our plane which will be used to power it. And at the moment it is starting up so we will press the buttons after it started up. As you can see at the bottom of the checklist, there is APU starting please wait and a percentage behind that. So this, uh, we will have to wait for this to reach 100% and then we can turn on the APU generator switches. So now we have reached 100%, we can turn them on. on when APU available. Fuel pumps. And now we will turn on our fuel pumps and the beacon. beacon. On. Now we have completed the before starting engine checklist and as you can see our displays have powered on because we have power from the APU and now uh, we will start to uh, start up our engines as you can see they're not running yet so we'll move on to the starting engine checklist. First we will go to our thrust levers here and make sure they're in the idle position and we can come over to the top here and we can start our right engine ignition switch and we will set our fuel control to run so we will press control 4 to come to the throttles here and put the fuel control into the run position. Now we will see on the display here our right engine has started up and uh, the speed is increasing on N2 uh, so let's start the left engine as well so we'll press control 8 to come up to the top here and start our left engine and come down to the throttle sands put the fuel control into the run position. Now we will see the left engine is starting up as well. So we will now need to monitor this to wait until our engines have started up. This video is sponsored by Incredible Maths. Incredible Maths is a great app in which you can learn and practice maths. It has a wide range of content for different levels of abilities. You can download it on Google Play and get 30 days of Incredible Maths Premium free with the code. More details down in the description. Now let's get back to the video. Now we can see that our right engine has stabilized because the numbers aren't changing anymore and we now need to wait for our left engine to uh, finish starting up. So it's almost there and then we can move on to the after starting engine checklist. Now our engines have stabilized so we can move on to after starting engine. So here we have two things, we need to turn the APU selector to off so we'll Press control 7 and turn the APU selector off and we will turn on our lights so the lights are located here so we will just enable all of these lights to turn everything on 
And now we have completed the checklist, so we can close this. And now we are ready to push back, taxi, and take off, and then fly wherever you want. I hope you enjoyed this video, and it helped. If it did, please press the like button, subscribe for more videos, and if you have any ideas for future videos that I can make, then please put them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.